Telomere length is a reliable hallmark of biological aging and the risk of developing age-related chronic diseases. Have you ever wondered if there's a way to extend your health span alongside your lifespan? The answer might lie at the very tips of your chromosomes. In this video, we'll be delving into the fascinating science of telomeres with Dr. Michael Greger, a renowned physician and author of How Not to Die and How Not to Age. Dr. Greger is a champion for evidence-based nutrition, focusing on how food choices can impact our longevity. Today, we'll be exploring the world of telomeres those tiny caps on our chromosomes that act like the plastic tips on shoelaces, preventing fraying. As we age, both stem cell and non-stem cell telomeres naturally shorten. But the good news is, Dr. Greger believes there might be ways to slow that process down. Get ready to learn how telomere length is linked to overall health and aging. Dr. Greger will be revealing surprising dietary and lifestyle strategies that research suggests can actually lengthen telomeres. So prepare to discover the delicious path to potentially living a longer, healthier life. Telomere comes from the Greek for end part of our chromosomes. Telomeres cap the ends of our chromosomes like shoelace tips to essentially keep our DNA from fraying. Telomere length is important since there's a minimum length required, but every time our cells divide, a bit of the telomere is lost. And once they get too short, the cell can die. Uh, that's why telomeres are sometimes called the molecular clock of cells. Every year, they get shorter and shorter, kind of like life's fuse. But in some people, that fuse burns faster than in others. Accelerated telomere shortening has been identified as a key biomarker for accelerated aging, disease risk, and diminished longevity. But there's some good news. Telomere shortening can be counteracted by an enzyme in our cells called telomerase. Telomerase can replenish the lost bits and elongate our telomeres. So, is there a way to safely increase telomerase? So, how can we boost this enzyme to, in effect, reverse cellular aging? Exercise may help. Those with high levels of physical activity have longer telomeres, whereas obese individuals and smokers tend to have shorter telomeres, along with those getting inadequate sleep. But what about nutrition? Globally, we might expect that any antioxidant or anti-inflammatory diet could be protective for telomeres. Uh, so we're talking like a whole food, plant-based diet with a reduced intake of meat and in fact swapping out animal protein in general in favor of plant-based proteins. Given that plant-based foods have well-known antioxidants and anti-inflammatory effects, there are fair grounds to believe that the consumption of plant-based foods can help to counteract telomere attrition. So, doctor, how do we know that a plant-based diet affects telomere length? Dr. Dean Ornish, along with the Nobel laureate who co-discovered the telomerase enzyme, studied the effects of comprehensive lifestyle changes on telomerase activity and telomere length using the same plant-based diet and lifestyle program shown to reverse the progression of heart disease and early-stage prostate cancer, and maybe even early-stage Alzheimer's. And telomere length shortened in the control group, and they aged five years as expected, but didn't just not shorten as much or hold steady, but actually lengthened in the plant-based lifestyle group. Whereas in a similar study across a similar time frame, there was no difference in telomere length when just giving people the more typical low-fat dairy, skinless chicken breast, generic type healthier dietary advice. Tell us more about plant foods for both stem cell and non-stem cell telomeres. So since plant foods contain plenty of compounds with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, it's plausible that their sustained consumption might help counteract telomere attrition. And indeed, if you pull all the best studies on the impact of nutrition on telomere length, the consumption of vegetables, fruits, beans, and nuts has been associated with positive effects on markers of inflammation and oxidative stress in parallel with longer telomeres. By contrast, processed meats, alcoholic and sugar-sweetened beverages, and other foods rich in saturated fats, alcohol, and sugar are linked to an increase in inflammation and oxidative stress in parallel with shorter telomeres. Next up, Dr. Michael Greger will introduce the first plant food in our discussion. As a renowned nutrition expert, Dr. Greger has not only shared valuable health insights, but has also authored several cookbooks. His latest, The How Not to Age Cookbook, offers delicious recipes designed to support longevity and overall health. This cookbook complements his popular How Not to Die series. 
providing practical ways to incorporate his evidence-based nutritional advice into everyday meals. Now, let's turn our attention to Dr. Greger as he unveils the first plant food on our list and explains its potential health benefits. What about the consumption of a high-fat whole plant food, like nuts? We know higher telomere-building enzyme activity is associated with a higher dietary antioxidant score, and botanically, seeds are packed with antioxidants. And by seeds, they mean any food you can put in the ground and sprout a whole plant, like whole grains, beans, chickpeas, lentils, nuts, they're naturally enriched in antioxidant compounds that protect the seed DNA from damage. Four weeks of navy beans didn't seem to affect telomere length, though. What about nuts? Well, based on how much your telomeres shorten every year, you can estimate the rate of aging. In other words, two people can have the same chronological age, same calendar age, but suffer more or less effective cellular aging. So, for example, if you smoke a pack a day for a decade, your cells may age about three years faster. Or if you drink soda every day, it's like almost two years of additional aging. So what about nuts? U.S. adults of the same age would experience almost two years less biologic aging per ounce of nuts and seeds consumed per day. The estimated biologic aging advantage would be nearly one year for each hundred calories of nuts and seeds consumed every day. The researchers conclude that clearly consumption of nuts and seeds accounts for meaningful lower levels of biologic aging in U.S. men and women, but that's just an association. You don't know if nuts can slow telomere shortening until you put it to the test. A randomized controlled trial investigating whether the inclusion of one or two ounces of walnuts a day for two years would help maintain telomere length, which normally shortens with age. In the control group, their telomeres shortened, as expected, over those two years, whereas the walnut group telomeres maintained their length, though the difference didn't reach statistical significance. Now, that was measuring average telomere length, and it's probably more telling to look at how long the shortest telomeres are rather than the average. And if you do that, look at the percentage of telomeres that are particularly short, the walnut group does edge out over the control group. It's well established that the length of the shortest telomeres is the key biomarker of the onset of senescence. The researchers conclude that the inclusion of walnuts in the regular diet for two years tends to delay leukocyte telomere shortening in older individuals. A study on pistachio consumption two ounces a day for four months reduced signs of DNA damage, but did not significantly slow the rate of telomere shortening. And this study, which randomized people to eat more mixed nuts, found a higher risk of telomere shortening in the nut group, for which the researchers could offer no explanation, so it's not clear whether nuts help with telomeres or not. And now Dr. Greger will describe the second plant food. Most supplement intervention studies observed null effects on telomere length as well, with the exception of green tea. 36 elderly women were randomly divided into two groups, exercise alone or exercise with green tea consumption for five months, and a significant boost in telomere length in the green tea group with no change from the placebo. Green tea is essentially a green leafy vegetable we dip in hot water. Dr. Greger will now describe the final plant food. How about eating green leafy vegetables? In fact, the healthiest kind, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cabbage, collards, and kale. They pitted raw versus cooked and found that cooked was better than raw for reducing DNA damage from a carcinogen, but raw was more anti-inflammatory. Consequently, to fully exploit the complexity of the health-promoting potential of Ethiopian kale, and by extension, maybe other cruciferous, a mix of both raw and cooked vegetables should be part of the diet. Okay, but what about for boosting the telomere-lengthening age-reversal enzyme? Raw or cooked? Which do you think? A short-term dietary intervention showed that cooked, but not raw, boosted telomerase activity in as short as five days, eating one and a quarter cups of this kale a day. It was thought that you'd need like four months of a change to affect telomeres, but this study provides for the first time evidence that telomerase activity can respond in a matter of days to a food intervention, but not just any food, but the healthiest food out there, cruciferous dark green leafy vegetables. Remember, your health is the lock, and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands. It's just one bite away.